Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you game one out of two games between Player and Walther in round three of the second European tournament. Today we are going to be seeing Colin Bell and on the allied side Player is using the 3rd Canadian Infantry and on the Axis side Walther is using the 9th Panzer. So this is certainly an interesting matchup that I would say in the early game goes in favour of the Canadians, mainly due to the use of rams. Rams definitely deal well with most of the units that the Ninth Panzer can throw at them early on. So things like the Panzer IIs, um, the Panzer Ones, of course, and also the Marder Threes will have trouble killing rams. So that is something that player may be able to use to his advantage in this game. Also in the early game there are stormtroopers that can press into the factory and do a lot of damage at close range. So that may be something else that we see player try and utilize. However, moving into phase B when the abundance of Panzer 4Js comes about, that may be an opportunity for the 9th Panzer to come back strong and would be something that I hope to see as Otherwise, it can end up going downhill to the point where the Canadians can bring in Fireflies and 17-pounders, and when they kill the Tigers, Walther's going to have trouble breaking through. Um, if the Tigers go down, of course, and if Walther allows that to happen, if he doesn't and he keeps those Tigers well alive into the late game, um, then he will definitely have a better time in this one. By the way, let's have a look at some of these units going down. Player certainly being very quick with his deployment. On the top side, we see some rifles. Further down, a flamethrower squad, a couple flamethrower squads actually, uh, likely heading to a couple buildings, one maybe in the factory, maybe one on the top side here. There's going to be a Ram 2 supporting the top side of the factory with a few units of infantry heading straight in. That's going to be some stormtroopers in there. That's actually two units of stormtroopers accompanied by one unit of flamethrowers and the rifles there with the command infantry. Then further down, we see a Piat with another rifle squad. And on the bottom side, it's going to be Stormtroopers with a AT gun, a six-pounder, which can certainly do a lot of damage to all of the armor that Walther can present in Phase A. Over on the side of Walther, he has chosen to bring in a Marta III at the start. I think it's pretty smart. Um, you can definitely, if you micro the Marta well and keep it at the 1,000 meter range, 1,200 meter range even, um, you can utilize that to take on a ram quite well. Um, even at the 1,100 meter range, you give yourself 14 AP versus the 12 front armor of the ram. So it, you do have a reasonable amount of penetration chance. Uh, but it's something that does definitely have to be managed quite carefully. But it looks like Walther is investing a lot into these Panzer Grenadiers on the bottom side. He's got some spear troops down there in the 251. Further up, more units of Panzer Grenadiers heading into the factory and on the top side. Um, we do see an AT gun with the command infantry. So both of these players, very good indeed. I'm hoping to see some excellent matches. Um, it, previously we saw like Eugen go up against Vohati and those were quick and decisive, but I think it mainly comes down to uh, the fact that the players are so good that uh, they know how to exploit each other very well. Uh, in this case, it may end up being similar, but uh, player and Walther definitely match up very well, and uh, I'm looking forward to these games for sure. Now, what I expect from Walther is maybe a chance to gain this open ground utilizing this Marder 3. He can push forwards quite well down here since player is investing more into the top side than the bottom. So that will be something that Walther needs to exploit. As for the top side, Walther could be in trouble because the Infantry composition of player is actually really strong and if he's accompanying stormtroopers with flamethrowers as well That's going to be very very deadly because the extra smoke grenades that the flamethrowers can bring with them Allow those stormtroopers a lot more flexibility in their movement Which may allow them to get onto Walther's side of the factory and once that happens at the 100 meter range Panzer Grenadiers are going to suffer really really badly so I don't think Walther is really prepared for that kind of infantry play and player may be able to take advantage of that because of it. But we are underway. It looks like uh, quite a lot of these units are moving down to the bottom side of the factory here which is fine. 
Just got to make sure that he doesn't get picked off by this Piet if he tries to send anything up the road. But the Panzer 2C is going to be accompanying that Marder 2, Marder 3, sorry, which is going to give it the two-star veterancy. See the Flamethrower Squad? That's going to try and get all the way through. Might get hit by this Panzer Shrek, though. It will. And that's a Flamethrower Squad down. And that may have been worth the try, though. And this Flamethrower Squad has managed to get into a building on the far side of the factory already, melting these Panzer Grenadiers takes them out very easily indeed really nice kill there for the flamethrower so tra trades a flamethrower squad trying to break through for the panzergrenz i think uh, players definitely happy with that start and seeing that this side of the factory is no longer occupied i would not be surprised to see the stormtroopers try and push on through aggressively Command carrier is going to have to stay out of line of sight but here comes walter on the bottom side getting aggressive with some Sturm pioneers the 6-pounder has actually revealed itself, the Marder 3 may be up to engage the 6-pounder, but it's busy trying to hit the Ram 2, and has a really good chance to uh, to kill this with the 2-star veterancy, uh, will definitely be very accurate, just got to get through that frontal armour, which currently is causing issues. Either way, Panzergrenz are moving forwards with Spade Throop, I like this a lot, Spade Throop leading the charge to make sure that there is no AT in the way of the Marder 3 or the Panzer 2. Ram still managing to bounce shots, even though that was technically a side armor shot, it seemed as though. Um, so rather unlucky, actually, for Walther not to penetrate in that case, because the side armor of the Ram 2 is only 7. So that would have been a solid 6 AP higher than the armor value. Then Pioneers engaging the Stormtroopers. They don't want the Stormtroopers to use their grenades, so they are backing off. Nice micro there from Walther. Now he goes back in. The flamethrower should be able to pin down the stormtroopers before they throw their grenade. I, uh, the Piet, though, that's going to be taken care of. Oh, those stern pioneers. They took so much damage. That's insane. That's just the 18 HE that the stormtroopers have with their six submachine guns. Really got the job done. Uh, but either way, Piet goes down. Rifles are being forced to fall back. The half track here is fast moving towards them to try and find a surrender. There is a six pounder on the way though that may catch out some of Walther's units. Meanwhile, player is making a move onto the Panzer Grenadiers of Walther. Uh, he does have the snap sniper scouts backing him up now. Here comes that six pounder. Gonna take out the half track. Now Walther's gonna have to be careful with the Marder 3 since that's not gonna last too well. And the Panzer 2 as well. Sniper scouts on the bottom side finish off the Sturm Pioneers. And uh, Panzer Grenadiers are now finding and killing off the six pounder. Ram 2 going to be utilizing line of sight to be not in sight of the Marder 3 whilst hitting the Panzer 2. Very smart use of the Ram 2 there by player. And just across the board so far, some really nice plays from both players. Um, Walther trying to exploit this bottom side as best he can, um, whilst player is really pushing hard into the center, trying to control this factory and give himself the advantage early on. But currently, only 122 points in favor of player. No significant lead just yet. It's bouncing towards the plus one for player, but with Walther still controlling ground on this bottom side, um, that may continue for the time being. It just really d does depend whether or not these six pounders can find significant kills onto like the Marta 3 here, or even this half track on the bottom side. If that goes down to this six pounder, um, then it will relinquish quite a lot of territory towards the stormtroopers that are just hiding down here. So. We may see the front line swing back there and give player just enough territory to find that plus one. Sniper scouts though, they're going to be continuing to hit the Panzer Grenadiers. They moved out of the tree line there just so they didn't take fire from the Marda 3s anymore. 258 though, that's going to be hit by the Ram 2. The Ram 2 has managed to stay alive throughout all of the fire from the Marda 3 and that is very important because it now allows it to get aggressive with all of this infantry support and it seems to be working very well. Um, there really isn't much in the way of player pushing forwards. And even now, Walther is starting to lose control of this bottom side. And with the second Ram 2 on the way, this Marta 3 could be in trouble. There is, however, now a mortar to support. So that may help clean up the six pounders that are in the way. And if those six pounders come down, then that's when the opportunity for the looks comes through. Um, if the AT is out of the way, um, these looks can run all over that bottom side of the map. And that may be something that Walther intends to do. With the weapon jam on the 258, though, that probably just wants to fast move back to the spawn. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be 
taken out for free. And two looks now coming in onto the very top side. It looks like Walther has identified that he can utilize uh, the line of sight here to avoid the Ram 2 whilst engaging the infantry that is pressing him. And that is a nice idea for sure. But with this Ram 2 on its way, I'm not sure if Walther's seen it coming, but it is going to get to a point where it is in 1,000 meter range off the mortar carrier, and that is not a place you want a Ram 2 to be, because the Ram 2 does have a significant amount of AP value. Is it in range to engage the Marder 3? No, it is not. It's actually engaging the Panzer 2. Dangerously close, yeah, to the Marder 3. That gave it just enough AP value to bail out the Ram 2 through the front armor. Find the internal fragments as well. Really nice job there by Walther. Should eventually find the kill after he bounces off the front armor a hundred times over. Ooh, this pack 38. Finding the side shot onto the Ram 2. Oh, really nice job there by Walther. That's one Ram down. If he can take out this second one and finish that off, that would be really nice. That would allow the Panzer 2 looks to get a lot of work done. And this is where Walther can start to exploit the weak Phase B that the 3rd Canadian have. Now, the 3rd Canadian have decent income in Phase B, but they don't have, like, decent units. Like, the best they can do is, like, Wolverines. And if Walther starts to utilize things like Panzer IVs, then aim time certainly becomes a issue for player to deal with. Because the Wolverines kind of lack that. This Panzer II looks, is it going to save the Pack 38? It is. Pack 38 gets out alive for the time being. Marder 3 is still bouncing off the front armor of the Ram. I think there's only like a 16% penetration chance or something there, so that Ram staying alive for a very long time. But now both of those are gone. This is definitely the chance for the Panzer II looks to find a lot of ground. And on this bottom side, it looks like that's what Walther is intending to do. Um, he's trying to find these stormtroopers and clean up those. He also would like to find this six pounder at some point. He's been trying to mortar it, but without the recon on this bottom side, it may be a bit risky. There is now recon on the way, um, but he needs to get on with this sooner than later. Exploit this lead that he has with both of the rams gone as quickly as possible, because there isn't often a time when you're playing as the ninth panzer where both of the ram twos will be dead, and this is the time that. You know, Walther can gain a lot of ground around this factory and really exploit this position that he's in. So, I am surprised that there hasn't been more aggression, but there's so many AT guns on the field from player. And this will definitely be a large deterrent for Walther, which is why this mortar half track is so important. But he just can't find the targets. Spear Troop, they're going to have to do the job, they're going to have to find these six pounders give targets for the mortar so that I can actually hit the mark and then the Panzer IIs can get aggressive again. On this top side, yeah, double six pounder will definitely stop a single Panzer II looks. And the only other way to get around these six pounders aside from this these mortar half tracks is just more Panzer IIs to the point where if a six pounder fires and reveals its location, all of your Panzer IIs just open up on it and kill it almost instantly. That's basically the idea. Nice kill there by the one health AT gun though. Onto some reinforcing infantry. On the bottom side, more infantry coming in as well. But currently, Walther being sort of very defensive. I think this spe this spade through, they definitely need to get a move on. Find the AT defenses because the longer that Walther waits, the harder it's going to be for the Panzer II looks to exploit the defenses. Like the reason that when the Ram 2s died he had so much breathing space is because there's just no mobile AT that can really stop the looks from going wherever they want and like eight infantry is not going to do anything at the end of the day. Piets are unlikely to hit like a fast moving Panzer II looks. So Panzer IIs can definitely do a lot of work but it seems as though there's just so many six pounders now you see this Panzer II Lux is, is suffering because of that. Marder III does take a shot at the 6-pounder, but just used up its last HE. We'll have to be careful because of that. Crack wheel damage onto the Panzer II Lux. And the mortar actually hit the target. It's a two-star mortar. The dispersion shouldn't be that bad. It just doesn't seem to be hitting the mark. 
which is really unfortunate for Walther. The last shot there just went completely off target. Looks like there is going to be some supply on the way. That's not only for the mortar, but also so that the Marder 3 can get its HE ammunition up and running again. Because at the 1,200 meter range, that's an easy way for Walther to take care of six pounders. Right, nice pin there onto the six pounder there. Oh, now the ME109 G2 BR21 is going. I was wondering when we'd see some Air Force. Just uh, depended on who brought it in first, but it looks like Walther makes the first move with the G2 BR21. Tries to go for the kill onto the six pounder on the top side to open up some ground there, but now Walther has finally started to pin and kill off some of this, some of these AT guns, and that may open up the opportunity for the Panzer II looks. But this is current. This one on the bottom side, track wheel damage is, is not very helpful and uh, definitely slows down the advance of that vehicle. 258 has fast moved to the Opal Blitz munition to get its weapon jam sorted out. But yeah, I'm just waiting for more Panzer IIs to come in, honestly, unless Walther has a plan to bring in Panzer IVs at this point. Now, nice job by the Piat there to actually find the kill onto the Flam Panzer that was going aggressive. The six pounder now taken out by the Marder 3. Two left on the top side. We do see a Sherman 3 on the board. There's another Sherman 3 coming in behind the factory. They shouldn't be too hard for the Marder 3s to deal with though. Like Wolverines are the real matchup against the Marder 3s in this case because the Shermans they have a lack of veterancy. But with that Panzer 2 going down to the six pounder, this top side is very vulnerable to the rifles. They have just taken out the Pack 38. They are going to take out the Panzergrenfuhrer, and that has relinquished a lot of territory to Player, and opened up a nice salient for Player on the top side, pushing him over the plus two threshold, uh, which will now increase his score even further. And it seems as though Walther, as soon as he starts to make a little bit of progress, uh, Player finds a way to stop him in his tracks. So. He found the kills onto the rams, but player brings in multiple AT guns. Um, now he starts to kill off the AT guns. He's brought in the Shermans on the top side where there is a limited amount of AT. And that's really starting to, to make a difference up there. Salt Pioneers now being brought in to control these buildings. And it's going to be very hard to get rid of things like these Assault Pioneers when they are entrenched like this. Because the only way you find them is if you either get sort of recon into like 150 um, meter range and discover them before you, before they can fire or you just suicide an infantry squad into these buildings and hope that it's not a flamethrower uh, because a flamethrower will of course pin them down very quickly. I mean 109 going for the shot onto the six pounder. One thing I do find is a problem though is that these GTBR21s they very rarely actually kill the six pounders in one run so also there did well. You saw the first strike though left it on one health and it had to be cleaned up by the Marder 3. This time around the ME109 does its job and if that can, can continue to be the case through phase B um, then there may be room for these Panzer II looks to get aggressive especially on this bottom side. The 6 pounder does die there to the 251-2. This is the chance. This is really a big chance here for Walther to make a lot of ground but Wolverine is on the way. So this is like the main thing that I was looking for in phase B from player was the use of the Wolverines and uh, how they're going to match up to the Marder 3s. Now in this case with command nearby the Marder 3 should have the advantage due to the extra veterancy and uh, accuracy because of that. So that would be something that I'd like to see from Walther get some command in here for this Marder 3. Uh, but this Panzer 2 looks you can see it's trying to exploit the salient a lot right now. Um, this infantry squad has gone down that massive lead the player has has been kind of taken care of due to um, this aggression on the bottom side from uh, Walther. So smart plays across the board. You can see the front line. I love it when it's like this where the front line is just wiggling all over the place. It really does tell the story of players trying to exploit every area of the map as much as they can. And well, in this case, player <laughs> stopping Walther in his tracks. Um, with that Panzer II looks kill. Nice hit by the uh, Piet there. Gets the job done. But uh, Marder 3 does reply with a quick kill onto some infantry. 
be it there that tried to kill the 251. Now we see the Sherman 3 coming in from the bottom side of the factory. Has that managed to get shots onto the back side of the Marder 3 initially? Marder 3 has turned round. Going to have to be smoked off by the mortar. This is actually a really smart move here from our player. Getting into 1000 meter range with the Sherman 3 is really difficult for a Marder 3 to deal with if it doesn't hit first time. And now it's falling back. The mortar carrier is going to have to be pretty careful. Um, it doesn't really have anything to defend it. It's going to have to continue to smoke off these units. Best bet would probably try and extend this tree line here. So like just smoke across like so. Currently just trying to get this Marder 3 to recover though. And with the but with the arrival of multiple Wolverines, yeah, that Marder went down. So it looks like Walther kind of overextended on this bottom side and got punished for it. He definitely needed to make a push on this bottom side, though that was his best bet. But player just really exploited his position in the middle of the map here uh, by bringing the Sherman 3 down behind the, the Marder, whilst also bringing in a Wolverine ahead of it, um, making... Walther have the difficult choice as to where to move the Marder and honestly didn't end up having a choice since it was forced to fall back. But now we see uh, like double Wolverine on the open area down here with the Sherman 3 and it looks like Walther's just going to be investing in Panzer 4s. So he's not going to have a way to deal with these Wolverines very well and that could be an issue moving forwards. He befell Panzer 4 up here though. That might be able to help some infantry make an advance. It could take on the Sherman 3 quite nicely due to the veterancy difference. But player has found his way back to the plus two. A lot of Walther's units here are behind enemy lines. That may allow the Panzer Grenadiers to find a Panzerfaust kill, but since these have been revealed previously, I think it's unlikely that player will allow that to happen. On this bottom side, these speed through they're gonna have to put themselves on to return fire, but the rifles are gonna end up running into those anyway. Pioneers, they managed to get the grenade off into the Assault Pioneers, so that was quite nice. But Panzer IV now under fire from a 6-pounder, and this is not an engagement the Panzer IV would like to take. Yes, the Panzer IV may hit enough times to pin down the 6-pounder before it finds the kill, but this is a huge risk. It's 11 AP versus 8 armor, and there was a chance there for that 6-pounder to find the kill, so Walther just allowing that to keep firing. And now loses line of sight, that's going to end up firing again. And it's just, every time you allow the 6-pounder to fire, it's a chance for your Panzer IV to die when it should otherwise not. Like another ME109 might be a good shout at this point, or even, well, there we go. I was going to say, or even a mortar or something. But the ME109 actually goes for the rocket strike onto the Sherman 3, which really doesn't do too much. I would have liked to have seen that finish off the 6-pounder since it keeps like going hidden again. Um, since there is no recon up on that top side. So a bit of a missed opportunity in my opinion. Uh, to just get rid of that 6-pounder and allow the more easy engagement with the Sherman 3 against the Panzer 4. Because like a thing like a, like an AT gun has health. It takes a lot longer for, for a tank to kill it. Whereas like if the penetration chance is just high for a Panzer 4 against a Sherman 3. It's just going to one-shot it. So there's a huge difference there. And utilizing the HE of the ME109 to just kill off the 6-pounder would have been much smarter, in my opinion. Uh, because now the Panzer IV is going to go for the engagement with the Sherman 3 and potentially get picked off by the 6-pounder, which now has fully recovered its morale. But on this bottom side, uh, things are not going very well for Walther. The mortar has been taken out. The Panzer IVs have managed to get into range of the Wolverine, though. And the Wolverine now forced back with an internal fire. Wolverine uh, pushing... On the bottom side, it's going to come up against a Panzer IV as well. Spitfire Mark IX is going to try and save the date with the bombs there. Focke-Wolf 190 coming in to shoot that down. Nice bailout onto the Wolverine though. Panzer IV will be able to clean that up eventually. Sherman III, that was uh, brought back from the bottom side of the factory. And this is where I was talking in Phase B. The Panzer IVs really if they are utilized well, can change the uh, landscape of this game. And so far, they are the only things that are keeping uh, Walther in this game. But we'll have to be very careful. Uh, this Wolverine, uh, now able to get the 1,200 meter range shots onto the Panzer IV-H. 
and that is something that Walther wants to avoid. So now this Panzer IV needs to be careful since the other Panzer IV is falling back. If it's on its own, then this is where the Sherman Threes can exploit that. And it looks like something that player is planning to do. But nice comeback from Walther to bring this back to a plus one for the time being. But it's going to have to continue to find significant kills in order to bring back the game as a total. Because you got 1,450 or 460 points on the side of player. And that's a long way for Walther to go in 18 minutes. Especially if uh, player is continuing to put up a, a lot of pressure. And it's going to get to the point now where like fireflies come in, 17 pounders come in and when these Panzer IVs start to get picked off it's it's going to be really really hard to deal with but at the moment Walther still doing very well he's managed to keep this Panzer IV alive he's got ME109 coming in hitting the Sherman III which may allow the Panzer IV to engage at close range Panzer IV is going to come around the corner there and it find the kill oh shoot a wound that's not good at least he has a second chance very lucky for that Sherman 3 to find that shooter wound there. I guess at that range it was unlucky for player since he hit to not kill the Panzer 4, but either way, ME109 coming in again. Another nice strike, just forces these Sherman 3s back, gives the advantage to the Panzer 4s. This Panzer 4, however, has been cut off by one Storm uh, Trooper, which is not good. Oh, this is n oh, this is nasty. Wasp, please don't surrender the Panzer IV. <laughs> it's going to, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Panzer IV just doesn't know what to do. He's going to have to back off towards the Sherman Threes, and it's going to end up going through the flames, which is going to fall it back and get surrendered. Oh, those wasps. It's a really smart play, though, from player. <laughs> and Walter had enough of that. Right, so there you have it. 22 minutes and 54 seconds it took for player to defeat Walter. Really tilting finish to that game, honestly. Uh, that Wasp coming through and, and surrendering those Pioneers and the Panzer IV. <laughs> very, very smart move from player, but so so ugly to watch like that is just it just makes me cringe when I see stuff like that because it's just it's just nasty I know exactly how Walther feels in that situation and uh, I think honestly it got to the point where unless the Tigers went absolutely ham he couldn't have won that game because of the points disparity and the fact that player was sitting on a plus two still at that point and you know almost 1600 points there for player but in the end, the kills and losses, pretty close. 1,470 kills to 1,290 losses. I think the round twos did just enough to prevent the aggression from Walther. And then when the rams came down, it seemed as though player had like a a second chance with the six pounders to stop the Panzer II looks from gaining too much ground. And then in phase B, it seemed as though, or although Walther managed to get in quite a few of the Panzer fours, he just couldn't find the ground that he needed the wolverines were well used to sort of stop the initial aggression from walther and maybe that was the mistake in this one sort of walther getting over aggressive on the bottom side too early because uh, if he'd had a couple of panzer fours supporting the marder three then the fact that there was tanks on all sides may not have mattered so much but at the same time, I kind of agree with the fact that he did go aggressive there because it was a chance since the AT guns had died at that point. And he did find a lot of ground. It's just player dealt with it really, really well. So a really awesome match. I really enjoyed this one. A lot of like tactical maneuvers. I liked how uh, both players were trying to push for different parts of the map and, and really try and stretch the other player. So that was really, really awesome. But let's have a quick look at the kills. Um, Snipe Scouts did okay, but not great. Uh, there wasn't really any super standout units other than that Wasp at the end. Um, the Sherman 3s and the Wolverines, they kind of allowed player to control the sort of mid game quite well. Like the double, well, or at least the Sherman 3 on the top side. Um, 
dealt with a lot of the aggression or well not really aggression from Walther on the top side but allowed him to push through Walther's defenses um, where Walther did not have like his Marder 3 active and in terms of losses like this Marder 3 on the bottom side did really well um, I think a lot of the units from Walther did well like this pack 38 on the top side that managed to survive and side shot the Ram 2 that was quite something um, ME109G2s were really nice choices for trying to clear up those six pounders, but there was that one time when it hit a Sherman instead of the six pounder. I feel like that was a bit of an odd choice. But this Befell Panzer IV still did work anyway. And it was just a shame that uh, those Panzer IVs couldn't do that little bit more uh, to allow Walther to try and make a comeback into the late game. But there you have it. Really fun game to watch. Player and Walther going at it. Hopefully we get just an, as an exciting game in the second one. But until then, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.